the only man that can hold back Marquez from winning this championship early. Oh, oh, I <laughs> Making noise all the time. No, I saw you in time. <laughs> but before you get your weekend started... <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Inside Pass. We're here in Aragon for the 14th round of the MotoGP Championship. With Mar Marquez still leading the championship, this is now the last race before we head to the Far East. favorite part of this Aragon layout and why? First, second corner. It's very tricky, special because the uh, front tire is suffering quite a lot, so you need to be brave to turn the bike fast. The corkscrew part, huh? you know, the, the right, left, and then not only that, the long corner after the big long left. The last corner, going into the last corner. The last corner is, is fantastic. You cannot see the, the exit and it's a very, very fast corner. Also, the entry you arrive at more than close to 350. Sector four, the last uh, corner is Always uh, impressive. The last chicken yes. before the back street. Probably the last corner is the is the one more unique. Last corner, uh, it's unique. I think it's one of the most uh, nice corners to do because it has a very late apex. So to just roll in with a lot of speed and search for that late apex, it's a quite nice feeling when you get it. Turn uh, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. um, also, is my corner, uh, Marcus corner, uh, and uh, and yeah, it's a. Uh, the best part because it's a big downhill and, uh, and then step by step you go out from second, third, then you slide a little bit like a kind of dirt track and it's uh, one of my strongest points. We're here at the Mission Winner Hospitality for another teammate challenge and we have here Danilo Petrucci and Andrea Dovizioso. Hello gentlemen. Hello. So I'm going to show you a series of images and you need to figure out which MotoGP rider it is. Oliveira. You need to say a name. Olé, olé. Yeah? It is Miguel Oliveira, yes. Mark. <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. A nightmare. It is indeed Mark Marquez. Have you been paying attention to people's ears? Uh, Spargaro. There's two Spargaros. Paul, Paul. Paul. It is indeed Paul Spargaro. Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack Miller. Jack, Jack Miller. Jack, Jack. <laughs> Jack is not that <laughs> bad. <laughs> It is indeed Jack Miller. Fabio. Yes. Fabio. And yeah. Quartararo, yeah. It is indeed Frenchman Fabio Quartararo. Alex. Alex, yeah. Alex. How can you tell? You know. <laughs> <laughs> we know one each other since many years. I think it's Danilo, but uh, the leather. No, no so you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. Danilo, <laughs> Danilo, who do you think this is? I don't know. Uh, me, 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 me. It's me. <laughs> yeah, I say, I say Andrea, yeah. It is indeed. <laughs> Andrea, don't you know? So, there is no winner, there's two winners. <laughs> so, congratulations, boys, and best of luck for, uh, for the Aragon GP. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. The Red Bull KTM rider then, he's going to take another victory and a stunning one of that. Binder wins here in Aragon. Good strong run of podiums continues for Brad Binder. Since we're here in Aragon, I'm going to visit one of the local boys, Paul Espargaro, for a vlog takeover. And Paul is right here. <laughs> Hi! You catch me. And you're not alone because Mika is right behind us. Mika! Yep. Hey. Sorry. So Paul, this is your second home. Well, actually it's my first home. Actually, you show us around <laughs> yeah. here. I cannot show the bikes because no, they no, are no. naked and it's super forbidden. Top secret. <laughs> well, this is the place where I sit. Mika and I are following you. Yeah, Mika. I'm following. Paul <laughs> is talking too much. So Sorry. Right. <laughs> you want to take it? <laughs> no, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay we're going to sign some posters. Hola, buenas. It must feel really cool to be this close to the fans. Especially at home, it's nice to be. You guys 
our brand new teammates this weekend. Look like. So yeah. I have a bit of a challenge for you. Okay. Let's see which one of the two has the best reaction time. Okay, so, yeah, so, uh, it's not point two, six, one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must make another one. Okay. Nah, hey, hey, hey. Um, it can be a new record? Actually, it record. is a new record. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna I'm give him a sure. second chance. Ah, uh, oh, don't! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Show me. Oh, right. Show me. Well, thank you so much for doing this. And I wanted to talk right now because we have the bike right here. Yeah. So can you walk me through your bike? You have both been involved in the project from the very beginning, especially Mika. Many things have happened since then. Yes. I mean, this gentleman basically said KTM's on dry conditions fastest qualifying time, which is amazing. Why are you laughing? Why, why? <laughs> as well. All the work you put in, 100%. testing behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But now you're going to be sitting alongside in the pit box with Paul. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I need to push this uh, to be even better. <laughs> so, pole po position, po position. Will. So let's get a bit of an insight uh, about the bike. What has been the biggest change yeah, throughout the seasons? You're, you can explain. All the parts of the bike have changed a lot. We were working at the beginning of the year a lot with the aerodynamics, which it was one of the biggest parts for us to improve. Um, yeah. We have a quite typical swing um, chassis, which is tubular. So we have a lot of different uh, possibilities to do with that uh, chassis. So we tried, I think we tried it all. Does KTM bring a lot of things for you guys to try during a race weekend? Because obviously the bike is still, you know, constantly developing and evolving. During the Massive. Uh, we are in uh, constant progression and we need to keep developing the bike in during the weekend. And it's, yeah, it's super difficult to race every weekend with the new bikes, new bikes, new bikes. But now I think we are quite, yeah, slowing a little bit down. So the bike is getting better and we are starting to know the bike a little bit better. But yeah. Are you ready to put some pressure on this guy? He will. Yeah, yes. He will. <laughs> no. I'm sure. Two, two years ago we had a good battle uh, during yeah. the race. So yeah. Especially uh, here. Exactly especially well, here, yeah. yes. Here yes. in Aragon, yes. Also it's not that easy to rip it now, but hopefully yeah. I can stay close. We will. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much guys for, for this and uh, best of luck for the weekend to both of you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever wondered what needs to happen in order for you to be able to see a rider's lap time on your screens? Let's go and find out. So, Jonathan, what do you use in order to be able to do the timekeeping? So, the heart of the system is that. This is a transponder. Okay. And this is an, a metro receptor that is installed in each bike. What yes. do you use in order to... To receive the Exactly, signal. yes. Yeah. We put an antenna in the ground. Yeah? And this antenna is connected to a decoder. The decoder is identify the number of transponder and assign a, a very precise time. Factory box. This is one okay. intermediate point. We have the decoder. So from the transponder. Yeah. Via the antenna, the antenna that is in the ground. The antenna is connected here. To here. And here send we send the time passes to the timekeeping room. The goal of the TV director is follow the lab is going to be the ball. So to predict that, we split the circuit in three different intermediate points and we know the evolution during these intermediate points. We create a color code, mm -hmm. a gray helmet is a time that is not interesting at all. Yeah. An orange helmet is best time at the moment for this rider and a red helmet is the overall best. So taking a look, if you see two red helmets, it's a big probability that the rider uh, end with the pole. I was very much surprised that you don't do at the actual timekeeping check with on with the bike. You actually do with the yeah. safety car. Yeah, because we control the safety car and we don't control the bikes, <laughs> so <laughs> it's easy for us to do, take a look with the safety okay. car and, and, and make a test. The last thing. Yes. Video finish. Imagine that you have a very very close arrival and the transponder is singly moved here, yeah? Yeah, then one is on the front of the bike, the other one's at the back. Yeah, and then ah, we follow, we tricky. show it with the tricky. video finish. And this is more or less that we are doing. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Thanks to you, thanks to all the team. Thank you, boys. Bye. Uh, there is a man who should take about Alicia Spargaro, fifth on the factory of Trulia in a MotoGP qualifying session. Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup winner Carlos Tatai doesn't know it yet, but we have a surprise for him. So let's go meet up with him. The winner Hi. of the title. So how is it feeling, Carlos? Oh, I'm really happy. And this is the last round of the Rookies, right? Yes, the last round. And there's two races this weekend. Yes, two races. 
And how do you feel about it? Well, I'm really happy that we have news yeah? from here. Okay. Can I say it? Uh, uh, sure, I mean, it's your okay. news. So, really happy because I will do a, well, a wild card here in the Moto3 Moto World Championships. Wow, that's huge news. A wild card in the Moto3 World Championships. Yeah. You just told me about this and we just happened to be in front of the Repsol Honda uh, pit boxes, which is really, this is the goal, right? To get to MotoGP. Yeah. Let's get a sneak peek. Who do you admire? Mar Mar Marquez, obviously, he's, he's incredible. He, what he, he's done, it's no words for it. What's the goal now? So, um, can we talk about like the future? Do you know already what's going to be the next step for next well, year? Next step, I can say that I will be in the World Championship. That's a big new. We will see you on the Moto3 starting grade in the yes. Championship as next of year. Qatar next year. Okay, that's amazing news. Crazy. So you said you have set yourself some expectations. Yes. But before you get your weekend started... <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, eh? Thank you very much. It was a nice race, no? Yes. A nice championship, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, no, 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 okay. So, we wanted to surprise you. It was like you. kind of surprise, no? Yeah. I mean, from Incredible. champion to champion, right? Incredible. Yeah. What advice can you give him for this weekend? So, wild card, I mean, uh, of course, uh, the pressure is there. The motivation is there, too, because uh, it's, a, it's a wild card, but... Uh, but uh, you just uh, try to enjoy the race we can. It's a circuit that you know. Just enjoy the and uh, learn about the, the top guys. I mean, uh, Moto3 is like a joke. I mean, with the drift dreams and yeah, all yeah, these yeah. things. So you have Mark right here, and you can ask him anything. What would you ask him? Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> how did you how did you do in 125? Yeah, you, were... you need to achieve or you need to approach the weekend, the weekend or the or the year in a in a relaxed way. I mean, uh, don't put uh, if you put too much pressure to yourself then what you will do is crash many times. Mm. And I did, I did, <laughs> I did. Of course, in the mid-season, you need to have the target in the mid-season. And in the circuits that you know from Rookies Cup, yeah. there is where you need to just show your talent, just the top 10, top 5 maybe, but top 10 will be a, a, a nice and uh, realistic. Enjoy the moment and in, especially when you have the opportunity, give your best. You arrive in the World Championship, but it's not done. I mean, yes. you need to give uh, your best. Keep. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little surprise. We oh, really wanted to. Thank you very much. Enjoy it, eh? Thank and uh, keep pushing, and I will follow you this weekend. <laughs> Thank, you okay? Thank you Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank you. Mark. Thank you. Bye. 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 Did you enjoy that? Oh, incredible. Incredible. <laughs> well, we want to wish you the best of luck for this very Thank first very Moto3 wildcard. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Tatai does get the front row. Carlos Tatai take a bow. On the front row of the grid. There are not too many people that do that when they're just breaking into the World Championship. With Mar Marquez starting from pole position for his 200th MotoGP starts, let's see what happens in the race. And we've got a green flag waving at the back of this one. 23 laps coming up here. Aragon is underway. It was a good start that from Mar Marquez. Look at the advantage that Mar Marquez already established. We're only on lap one. We're only in turn number 11. That was it for the Aragon GP with the Mar Marquez that was unstoppable. From pole position, he led all throughout the race and no one was able to keep up with the pace. Initially, we thought it was going to be the two Yamahas of Fabio Quartararo and Maverick Vinales who were going to put up a fight to the Spaniard. But in the end, it was Andrea Dovizioso with his Ducati that started from the 10th place on the grid and claimed the second step of the podium. Closely followed by Jack Miller in third. Look at this. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing the top speed difference between the Ducati and the Yamaha. The Yamaha big bosses are here, you know. They all expected it to be Marquez versus the couple of Yamahas. It's not worked out that way. Aragon's been all about one man. He rounds the final turn and it's done. Mar Marquez as he celebrates on the top step. Someone's got to try and stop this guy. That was a bit Nick doing esque, wasn't it? Join us next time when we will be at the PTT Thailand Grand Prix for the 15th round of the MotoGP Championship. Until then, let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the vlog was and what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Bull Motorsport YouTube channel so you don't miss another episode of Inside Pass. See you next time.